find the relation between x and y such that the point with coordinates x and y is equidistant from the points with their coordinates 3 and 6 and minus 3 and 4. In this question, we are given three points. Out of these three points, the two points are with given coordinates. Let us consider these two points are point P and point Q. The point P, let us assume, is with given coordinates 3 and 6 and given coordinates of point Q are minus 3 and 4. The coordinates of third point is X and Y. Let us assume that this point is point A and its coordinates are X and Y. And we are to find the values of X and Y given that A is equidistant from P and Q. So mathematically we are given that AP is equal to AQ. So let us find the distance AP using the distance formula. According to the distance formula, distance AP is equal to square root of sum of x2 minus x1 whole square and y2 minus y1 whole square. Here x2 stands for x coordinate of point P, it is 3. x1 stands for x coordinate of point A and it is x. y2 is the y coordinate of point P, it is equal to 6 and y1 is equal to y, the y coordinate of point A. After substituting these values in the formula, we will get AP is equal to square root of 3 minus x whole square plus 6 minus y whole square. Okay. Now, using the identity x minus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square minus twice of xy. Using this identity, we can write AP is equal to square root of 3 square plus x square minus twice of 3 and x. It is 3 minus x whole square and 6 minus y whole square is 6 square y square minus twice of 6 and y. So AP is equal to square root of 3 square that is 9 then x square it is minus 6x 6 square is 36 then y square and twice of 6y it is minus 12y. Once again, we can simplify it. AP is equal to, after rearranging the terms, x square plus y square, then minus 6x, then minus 12y, and 9 plus 36 is equal to 45 so it is plus 45 it is the value of AP now we are given that AP is equal to AQ so now we are to find the distance AQ okay using the same distance formula we will get AQ is equal to square root of sum of minus 3 minus x whole square and plus 4 minus y whole square minus 3 minus x whole square we know that minus of a minus b whole square is equal to a plus b whole square 
ओके सो ए क्यू इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री प्लस एक्स होल स्क्वायर प्लस फोर माइनस वाई होल स्क्वायर नाउ यूजिंग द आइडेंटिटी ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ ए बी वी कैन राइट थ्री प्लस एक्स होल स्क्वायर एस थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एक्स एंड यूजिंग द आइडेंटिटी x माइनस वाई होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वाइस एक्स वाई वी कैन एक्सपेंड फोर माइनस वाई होल स्क्वायर एस फोर स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वाइस ऑफ फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वाई सो फर्दर वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई एंड वी कैन फाइंड ए क्यू इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री स्क्वायर दैट इज नाइन then x square 2 threes are 6 so it is 6x then 16 4 square then y square and it is 2 fours are 8 so it is minus 8y after rearranging the terms we get aq is equal to first x square then y square plus y square then plus 6x After that, minus eight y, and nine plus sixteen, it is twenty-five. Now we are given that AP is equal to AQ. AP we have found the value of AP is equal to square root of x square plus y square minus six x minus twelve y plus forty-five, and value of AQ is square root of x square plus y square plus 6x minus 8y plus 25 so on equating ap is equal to we find that square root of x square plus y square minus 6x minus 12y plus 45 is equal to square root of x square plus y square plus 6x minus 8y plus 25 now on squaring both of the sides we will get x square plus y square minus 6x minus 12y plus 45 is equal to x square plus y square plus 6x minus 8y plus 25 on transposing all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side we will get x square plus y square minus 6x minus 12y plus 45 then minus x square minus y square minus 6x and plus 8y and minus 25 is equal to 0 okay now we see that x square and minus x square the result is 0 y square and minus y square the result is 0 minus 6x and minus 6x we will get minus 12x minus 12y and 8y the result is minus 4y 45 minus 25 is nothing but 20 and it is all equal to 0 clear now we can divide this left hand side and right hand side both by 4 why because 4 is the factor of all three terms so all three terms are divisible by 4 and we know that 0 divided by 4 is nothing but 0 so we will get 4 div at uh, minus 12 divided by 4 so it is minus 3x minus 4y upon 4 is minus y and 20 divided by 4 is nothing but 5 and 0 divided by 4 is 0 once again we can write this relation as it is or we can multiply both of the side with minus 1 after doing so minus 1 multiplying with minus 3x minus y plus 5 as well as with 0 also we will get 
3x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. So this is the relation between the variables x and y. It is 3x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0.